Hey guys, it's History Behind the Warrior, and today I wanted to talk about some continuity errors in the M. Bison video. Now I've read over some of the comments with them being both positive and negative, and to explain why I structured the video the way I did. Now right from the get go, we're going to talk about where Bison came from, which is his origins, like if he came from Thailand, Cambodia, or Ireland. Now excluding any film adaptation of this character, M. Bison's origins are left completely unknown in the aspect of where he was actually born. Because I've checked the comments and even some people think that he's Russian, so I just wanted to clear it up by saying that we don't really know where he actually comes from. Now another aspect I wanted to talk about was the relationship between Rose and M. Bison. Now some of you do know I left out the information that Rose and M. Bison apparently share the same soul. Now the reason I left this out is because it's so incredibly vague and it's very very poorly addressed. It has in no way, shape or form have ever affected the M. Bison character. However, I still wanted to address it as an honourable mention when I got around to covering Rose. Now the problem with M. Bison as a character is that he's so universally hated, we have to talk about each other character's relation to him and why they hate him. And this is where things get a little bit sketchy if you can understand, because there's even characters who you've probably never heard of that really hate this guy. But to go back on topic, when I was doing my research, I also found out that M. Bison may have possibly before confronted Akuma and defeated the demon. To which I say, what a load of shit. I left it out because it was so vague and it was so convoluted, I just thought it was just terrible continuity. And unfortunately, that's how it is because they haven't announced how much of the history they've retconned at this point about a certain character. Which brings me to another character called Charlie Nash. At this point in the series, I'm probably never going to cover Charlie Nash because he's so obscure with how he died now, it is quite literally all over the place. In the Alpha series, he blows himself up. In the Udon comics, he does a genocide cutter sending himself and Bison into a fucking just whirlpool. And now it seems like he's been betrayed by the military, killed by Bison and had his body thrown into a lake somewhere. Even though his body somehow miraculously wakes up inside a tomb. The continuity problems with this character and Charlie Nash, it's just, it's awful. For someone who's been doing this almost for a year, I do want to say I apologise for making the sloppy and bison video. Now I'm not only making this video as an apology, but I also want to say that the channel is still authentic and I still haven't lost touch with what I wanted to do. Just in here, I wanted to go off script so that way I wasn't talking very linear and could explain to you why I left out certain things. And just for the record, I left out the Akuma thing because a lot of Akuma fans would have been very very upset. Now I just want to say thank you for you guys watching and appreciating these videos because I do have a lot of fun and I do listen to you guys as you guys can clearly see here. So for any future Street Fighter videos, I'm going to be checking the canon a lot more and making sure that I don't make as many errors as I did in the Bison video. But thank you for coming by and watching this video as I explain some of the issues that I've had to address with the video. I also want to say thank you for all the people that have come across and supported my channel for such a long time. We've almost hit 75,000 subscribers and I haven't been on here for a year just yet. So thanks guys for being really awesome. The support I've had over the fucking like last year or something has been extremely overwhelming. And you guys are really, really cool for understanding that. So as always guys, please comment, like, subscribe, share this video with everyone you know, along with the other one which I messed up pretty bad on, and hopefully I'll see you guys next time.